How to make up for a bad marriage proposal. Every wedding proposal you've ever seen on TV or Instagram was perfect, but yours, wasn't. If you're the one who proposed and messed it up, good news, you can make up for it. If, instead, you're the recipient of the botched proposal, it's just as possible to move past it and make great memories moving forward. In either case, check out the relevant section below for a comprehensive list of ideas that can help you overcome a bad marriage proposal. You made a lousy proposal, now what? Sincerely apologize ASAP. As soon as you realize you messed up the proposal, own up to it as part of a genuine, thoughtful apology. It doesn't matter if you think your partner is making too big a deal of it, it is a big deal to them. So, even though the proposal didn't go well, you've got a chance to reveal your maturity and concern for their feelings. I should have realized that you'd be uncomfortable with a proposal in public. I'm so sorry that I let my ideas for a grand proposal get in the way of making it special for you. I hope you'll give me the chance to make up for my mistake. I know you're disappointed that I don't have a ring. I should have waited until I had one and I truly apologize for making that mistake. I hope you can see that it's because I was so eager to ask you. Explain what went wrong without shifting the blame. Obviously you didn't intend for your proposal to go off the rails, so try to share your thinking behind your plan. Aim to help your partner see that you had good intentions even though things didn't quite work out. But, even if things beyond your control, like bad weather, played a big role, continue to hold yourself ultimately accountable. For example, you might subtly point out that your partner's sister was the one who ruined the surprise, but own up to the fact that you should have come up with a more foolproof plan. You might also apologize for not having a good backup plan ready to go if, for instance, an unexpected restaurant shutdown messed up your proposal plan. Ask about doing a re-proposal. Your partner may really want you to do another proposal that better aligns with their dreams of the event. Once you've given your sincere apology for screwing up, ask politely for a second chance. If they'd rather move on and put the whole episode behind them, accept that. But, if they want you to try again, get straight to planning a redo. Assist them in planning a perfect engagement party. Having an awesome engagement party can rinse away the bad taste of a subpar proposal. So it's definitely not time for you to get nitpicky about details or stubborn about what you want for the party. Instead, do whatever you can to help your partner get the exact engagement party they want. If your proposal setting was way too low-key for your partner's taste, for example, a super classy engagement party brunch might really help smooth things over. You got a terrible proposal, now what? Think about what bothered you so much about it. Take some time to really evaluate what happened and why it didn't work for you. Was it bad planning, bad luck, bad judgment, or something else? Was the proposal egregiously awful, or just not what you had in mind? Does it make you worry about the relationship's future, or even make you want to end the relationship? Ask yourself if you had realistic expectations. Is it possible that you imagined a proposal so picture-perfect that your partner never had a chance of achieving it? If so, try to picture the bar being set at a more realistic level, then evaluate whether your partner's proposal still fell short. You may find that their proposal no longer feels like such a big letdown. For instance, maybe you felt let down by the size of the diamond in the engagement ring. But, was your expectation based on what your partner could reasonably afford, or on the rocks you've seen handed out on TV? Consider if their failure here reveals bigger problems. In many cases, a bad proposal will just end up being a funny story for you guys to tell in the years to come. But it is possible for a bad proposal to serve as a genuine warning sign that you should take seriously. For example, if you've spoken many times about how you love classic proposals, e.g., presenting a diamond ring on bended knee, and they didn't do any of that, do they really know you as well as you thought they did? If they know how terrified you get being the center of attention and they proposed during a hockey game because it sounded cool, do they really take your feelings into consideration? If they asked for your parents' blessing when you specifically requested they not do that, do they truly respect your beliefs and opinions? Take the wedding planning into your own hands, with their input. If you didn't get the proposal you wanted, take the lead in making sure that you get the wedding you've always wanted. That said, don't use your partner's bad proposal as an excuse to completely shut them out of the wedding planning. Instead, show empathy, respect for their opinions, honest communication, and a willingness to compromise, 
which are all vital qualities in a successful marriage. Planning the wedding might also give you a newfound respect for how challenging and pressure-packed it was for your partner to try to plan a perfect proposal.